Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Project YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have created the logout feature and abandoned the session so that each user can log out independently. In this video, we are going to develop the encryption decryption method for password encryption de decryption to store them into the database. Right now, whenever user is registered, the password is simply saved like this okay and we want to make it secure so we are going to create the encryption method uh, here okay uh, now we need to create uh, a common folder where we can create uh, some common commonly used uh, methods which are uh, empowering our whole application so stop the application and uh, here you can add a folder common under this common folder we are going to add a class okay so now we are going to here, here is the class for password okay this is the password class here we are going to create a first method which is public static string and we are going to say encode it will encode the password here is the password okay so <clears throat> we are going to use try catch method try and catch in the catch we will use exception ex and here we will throw new exception error in encode and here we have ex dot message okay now in the try we will take a byte array it is called ink data byte is equal new byte and it is of the length of password password dot length then it will equal to system dot text dot encode here we have the encoding method we need to search for the encoding encoding dot utf 8 or whatever the standard you are using get bytes and here we will pass our string it will return us the encoded bytes to this array then string encrypted data is equal convert dot to base 64 string and here we have that this is the final result and we will return this encrypted data now in the login controller where we are registering a user here is the index here is the sign we will call the instance of common password class so 
we will create an instance here as password encrypt data is equal to new password and we need to use the common library okay now this object will return the password here dot encrypt oops it is not giving us these variables here we have public static encode so we need to use that here now it is fine now member this cannot be accessed with an instance reference qualified by the task okay yes uh, we need to remove the static and here we are done and it will return us the encrypted password like this okay now execute the application and register a user and let's see what information will be saved in the password field for precaution let's check the value of password must be max okay TEP oops create an account TEP1 okay the user is registering and upon the successful registration it is appearing here now execute the application again okay here we have the password okay so we need to use a check here and again create account okay the class is not called oops sorry uh, I have written that in the sign in but uh, we have to do that into the into this okay so it's my bad so copy this one here and paste that here and copy this and paste that here now execute the application again now the application is executed and we are going to register once again TEP3 And here you can see we have now request here and it is successfully registered the user now execute the application and here you can see how the password is look alike so this is the encrypted 
password in the form of base64. I hope this is informative. If you have any kind of question, you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. Take care. Bye-bye. Have fun.